Cloning is described as the process of producing genetically identical individuals of an organism either naturally or artificially. We are using this term to describe a process of identically copying one storage device to another. The reason for this is maybe the existing storage device is full, so it is being replaced with a larger size. Or it could be that a faster storage device is available, such as an SSD. Reinstalling Windows then copying across the data may work to a point, but apps normally need to alter or add new information to the operating system when being installed. Also, many apps have their own extensions or use a specific file. In other words, the Notepad app would not normally be able to open a picture file. Likewise, the Paint app would not normally be able to open a text file. The process we shall be using is to take each byte of information off the old storage device and place it in exactly the same place on the new storage device, so as the name implies, cloning the storage device. And that means everything will be copied including the drive specification. The first thing we must do is simulate the connection of a second drive. Check that the machine we are using is highlighted, then click on Settings, Storage, then click on Add Hard Disk. Click on Create New Disk. Then change the name from New Virtual Disk 1.vdi to SSD Drive.vdi. Change the file size to 100GB. Then click on Create. Then OK. Start the virtual machine. The app we shall be using is called MarkRium, but there are many examples that can be found on the web. Some are faster than others, while some need to be installed on a USB drive. Start Microsoft Edge. Search for MacRium.com. Then click on Home Edition and download 30 day trial. You can enter the email address to keep up to date with the product. In our example, we clicked on continue. Click on run and you will be prompted to save the app. We have accepted the default settings. Close the browser, then follow the on-screen prompts. Then you'll be asked to register. And in our example, we have chosen not to. Click on next, then next again and install. Finally, finish. Click on the app and follow the on-screen prompts. It should have found two partitions, one that is reserved for the operating system and a further one where Windows and our data is stored. Under this you will find a further storage device, which has not been initialized. The two highlighted partitions should have been selected click on clone this disk. Then click on select a disk to clone to. Then next, then on disk 2. Click on finish, then OK. A message will appear, clone started. Once the process has finished, the new storage device will open and this should be identical to the original one. Click on OK. Then close. If we now open this PC, we can see that both drives show identical amounts of free space and also the same size, despite that the new storage device was twice as big. Shut down and return to virtual box. Now we need to remove the original storage device and replace it with the new one. Highlight the machine we have been working on. Click on settings. Then storage. The original drive in our example is called Windows 10. If we just click on this we can see it is attached to SATA port 0. We need to remove this device and replace our new device on the same SATA port. Right click on this and from the drop down menu click on Remove Attachment. Click on SSD Drive. Notice that it is connected to SATA port 2. 
Click on the selector to the right of hard drive and from the drop down menu scroll up and select SATA port 0. Click on OK, then start the machine. Check this PC and the cloning process has made the new drive the same size as the original, 49.5GB. In Cortana, type in Disk Management. Here we can see there is 50GB unallocated space, which we will now need to allocate to the rest of the drive. Make sure the C partition is highlighted, click on Action, All Tasks, then Extend Volume. Click on Next. At this point, the disk management has already detected the unallocated space and has automatically moved it from the available to selected. So all we need to do is click on Next. Then Finish and we now can see the rest of the unallocated space has now been used. Return to this PC and click on Refresh and we can now see the new drive installed.